Water is one of the main indicators of how the planet is responding to our evolving climate. We built our civilization around the climate that we had and the water resources that we had. And if those are changing, that can have a profound impact on how we operate our society. GRACE and GRACE follow-on measure the motion of water around the Earth. And they measure that in all forms of water. Water that's stored underground, water in the ocean, water that's frozen in the form of glaciers. So all of that together, GRACE can measure. GRACE follow-on is a mission to measure how water is distributed on the planet and how that changes from month to month. GRACE stands for Gravity Recovery and Climate Experiment. And it's a follow-on mission to this mission called GRACE uh, that we launched in 2002. And that mission just ended a few months ago, and GRACE follow-on is going to pick up and continue that science legacy. So even though GRACE flew for 15 years, Climate is one of those things which takes place on decadal timescales. It's really important that we look at these trends over longer time periods so we can establish the forces which are driving them. One follows the other and between them they accurately track the distance between the two satellites. And as they fly over changes in mass on the Earth, they move back and forth. And we track those little changes very accurately. And we do that with global positioning system satellite information and with star cameras that are on board the two spacecraft. I think there's an increasing awareness and consciousness around the Earth that water is a critical resource and that the sea level is rising, the polar caps are melting, and that all these have long-term ramifications on how we live. The GRACE follow-on measurements give us very clear and tangible information so we can make sound decisions in the future of how we manage our resources.